from my point of view with Yorkers, um, a lot of the time now bowlers are getting their Yorkers in, so you've got to try and get them off their length. Uh, most of the time with their skills, they've been honing a, a specific skill in the Yorker um, and looking at targets. Sometimes I like to try and come out of the crease uh, just to throw them off a bit to hopefully try and get it as a full toss or if they miss it um, into the slot area then that gives me a, a free hit with that. Yeah so with wide Yorkers um, I try and go across the stumps um, over onto off stump maybe a little bit more. Um, there's every chance they're going to have a field packed on the offside and I try and use the pace as much as I can and make the margin for error for the bowler a lot smaller because obviously the wide line's there. So normally when a bowler comes in and delivers a bouncer, he or she has got a big area out on the, the leg side. So they're trying to get you caught with probably fielders at deep mid wicket, deep square leg and a fine leg. So a lot of the time you try and hit it hard into the pocket areas, get on top of the bounce as much as you can. Um, and also it's important to try and pick up those twos as well, not always just trying to get the fours and sixes. So again, with the slow ball bouncer, it's similar to a normal bouncer delivery. A bowler would normally be bowling that when there's a big field, uh, a big area on one side. Um, so the field would be out and sometimes it's good to just pick up your twos. Again, get, getting on top of the bounce, trying to hit the pockets for four if you can. The chances of hitting it for six are very slim because they're, they're not really uh, in your favour odds wise. Um, so sometimes it's just trying to get on top of it, hit the ball hard, pick up those twos as well. If you get in the gap, it's a bonus. Yeah, so a lot of time manipulating the field is having a, a good scan of the field, understanding where your twos could be. Um, a lot of the time everyone thinks, particularly in T20, it's all crash bang wallop. Yes, there is an element of that, but sometimes the sides that pick up the twos the most um, go on to win the game. So it's actually just scanning an area, pick a little pocket, turn and go, run hard. 